there! Welcome to the jungle! So, what do you want to do? Alrighty. Let's take a look at this. If you need some pointers on how to get around this place, just click here. If you want to play along with the story, click this spot here. If you just want to lie back and listen to the story, click here. If you want to go to your favorite part, click here. And when you're ready to get out of here, click right here. Remember, if you have any problems, just click on me to get back here. So, Hakuna Matata. You know, no worries. One special morning, the animals of Africa came to Pride Rock to celebrate the birth of Simba, the new prince. Everyone rejoiced, except Scar, the king's brother. <coughs> Well, I was first in line, until the little hairball was born. Dad, 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 come on, Dad. Okay, okay, I'm up, I'm up. When Simba was old enough, his father Mufasa took him to the top of Pride Rock to show him the lands he would someday rule as king. Look, Simba, everything the light touches is our kingdom. Wow. What about that shadowy place? That's beyond our borders. You must never go there, Simba. Later, Scar told Simba that the shadowy place was really an elephant graveyard. He said that only the bravest lions went there. Well, I'm brave. And remember, it's our little secret. Simba and his best friend Nala told Zazu they were going to the watering hole. They were really planning to go to the elephant graveyard. Along the way, the cubs teased Zazu. Step lively. I beg your pardon, madam, but get off! The elephant graveyard was full of old bones and geysers. The two cubs had a lot of fun exploring the graveyard for a while. We are all in very real danger. Mufasa! Zazu? Yes, sire? Take Nala home. I've got to teach my son a lesson. Mufasa was very disappointed that Simba had disobeyed him. The cub explained he was only trying to be brave like his father. Simba asked Mufasa if they would always be together, and Mufasa told him to look at the stars. The great kings of the past looked down on us from those stars. Those kings will always be there to guide you. And so will I. Scar desperately wanted to be king of the Pride Lands, so he plotted with the hyenas to get rid of Mufasa and Simba. Stick with me, and you'll never go hungry again! <laughs> Scar tricked Simba into waiting in a gorge, while the hyena...
Athena started a wildebeest stampede. Hold on, Simba! Mufasa saved Simba just in time, but could not save himself from Scar. What have you done? Scar told Simba that Mufasa's death was his fault. What am I gonna do? Run away, Simba. Run. Run away. Scar and the hyenas took over the Pride Lands. <laughs> Pumbaa and Timon rescued Simba from the desert and brought him to their beautiful home in the jungle. They taught him about Hakuna Matata, no worries, no problems, and how to enjoy their way of life. Simba grew up in the jungle with his friends Pumba and Timon. One day, while Pumba and Timon were out hunting bugs, a hungry young lioness sprang out of the high grass and attacked Pumba. She's gonna eat me! Simba? Well, how did you... It's great to see you! Let me get this straight. You know her, she knows you, but she wants to eat him. And everybody's okay with this? Did I miss something? Simba was surprised to discover that the lioness was Nala, his best friend. We've really needed you at home. No one needs me. I'm not the king. Scar is. That night, Rafiki came to Simba and led him out into the grasslands. There, Mufasa appeared in the sky and spoke to his son. Look! Father? Simba, you have forgotten who you are and so forgotten me. No. Remember who you are. You are my son and the one true king. Remember. Remember. Simba decided that he had to return to the Pride Lands and take back his kingdom. He challenged Scar to see who would be king. The two lions fought as a fire raged behind them. Simba won the battle and became king of the Pride Lands. Remember. With the return of the rightful king, the Pride Lands were restored.
one special morning, the animals came to Pride Rock to celebrate the birth of a new prince. Simba and Nala watched with pride as Rafiki raised their young cub high above his head, continuing the circle of life. So do you want to hear the story again, or do you want to leave? Well, see you around the jungle. Keep in touch.